Corvette Ultra is something we showed at NAB. It's our most heavy hardware. It handles high frame rate 4K. It handles really high frame rate HD. Um, and in combination with an optional card called a true scale card, you can scale images backwards and forwards. So what we've done with the TrueZoom software is a practical area of 4K implementation today right now is in sports, where you're still doing an HD broadcast. But you want to use these great new 4K cameras to capture higher resolution. You can zoom in with a joystick controller with the software, and you can basically create your own little zoom in HD through this 4K image giving you crystal clear reproduction of what actually happened in that moment. Because you can speed this up, you can use variable frame rates, all sorts of things, even sit on a single frame. On top of that, we have control room software. So for a lot of users who are doing things like shoots or are working in broadcast, they don't necessarily always need a full-blown NLE. So what this software does, and it's free, so if you go to aja.com today and download it, it's called Control Room. It'll allow you to ingest, playback, just to play out to an SDI or HDMI monitor, or indeed late tape. And so that's a free tool that effectively just helps you with the basics of getting material in and out. It supports uncompressed DPX, Cineform, uh, DNX HD, we've got Avid files, ProRes of course. So quite a wide range of stuff. And this is a public beta, you can download it. Control Room is available on Mac and Windows. So outside of that, this is a converter to help people that have got 4K cameras already. You might have a Sony F55, you may have got a, a Canon uh, C500, etc. You're working in 4K, you can come in here because you get dual SDI and HDMI output. And that's down converted to HD. Alongside that, we have three new mini converters that are really about handling the basics of analog or component to SDI and back. This particular gentleman will be able to take your SDI and break it down to component. And that's of course called V2 Analog. So again, trying to use clearer names with the newer products as we go. Uh, v to digital, opposite direction, we're going to take the component in and turn it into SDI. And here we have the HD10A+, Plus. so this replaces the HD10A. You've got multiple SDIs out, which is pretty cool. So you can come in with a single component source and output three separate SDIs. Anything that we talk about is basically shipping available today, other than one exception. <laughs> And that one exception is when we need to do things in conjunction with our partners. This is the new HAA IO 4K, which we're showing as a technology preview. This device is designed to work with Thunderbolt 2. And it means 20 gigabits per second pass through. So a lot of bandwidth. And that allows us to give you 4K in a mobile editing device IO box like this. So you'll see there are four SDIs in and out. So in other words, they're bi-directional. There's an always-on dedicated uh, HD out. So that's great, because we don't expect you to go out and re-equip an entire facility uh, with 4K displays right away. You're probably doing this as a slower transition, but this guy's here to help you work with your current HD monitors. You also have analog breakout for audio, uh, the 12 volts, XLR power that people have gotten used to with our key pro products and again that's also to make it easier for you in the field if you're on location doing a documentary you can run this off an Anton Bauer or an IDX battery. No pricing etc at this point we'll be telling you more about that when we come to launch time.